Welcome everybody. Are you ready for another video of Ghostman's Adventures on a whole new world? You are? That is good. I like that. Well, let's have a look at what we got planned today on the YouTube video plan board. Well, today we have Stage 1 Explore. Now, Explore, you were thinking, hmm, why would you need to explore? Well, the last week's been really noisy, so I can't really have filmed anything. So uh, I decided I would do something that uh, you all see me build already, but just on a larger scale. Then secondly, I need to find a slime chunk to build the next bit. Now, I did say me and Guru will be tackling the all tower at some stage. Oh, hello. We're rather close here, aren't we? Okay. So... As I said, we would be doing this altar at some point, but not at this current stage. Because at the end of the day, Guru's got his exams at the moment at the university, so we are unable to do that. He hasn't got time. That's his chest as well, which is a pain in the backside because he's left it in front of the board. Now, there's Mrs. Boom time over here, and you're going to be able to see something in a minute when we go and visit her. So, got her all the way up here. Hello, Mrs. Boom Time. That's going to be Mr. Boom Time's girlfriend, and he's because she's going to go in there with him, and that is what I built. Yeah, that is basically that, but just from bedrock all the way up to the ceiling. Yes, it did take a lot of work, but it is pretty epic. So what I'm going to do is I'll quickly jump cut and I'll get myself over there. Or should we actually just walk over there? It's not that far. We'll walk over there. So I hope you all have been enjoying the videos. Uh, I know this uh, video I was planning to start doing the village spawner. And start doing... Um, start just looking at doing the dart ring. But I actually changed my mind. Because uh, as it has been busy, I figured I'd just do a huge version of this and it is pretty epic a lot of work a lot of time especially digging out the ground but then I got some more digging over the ground to do in a minute I do like the look of it as well see if you can write down in the comments of what building it reminds you of and let's see if it's the same building I was trying to mimic just without a certain style of roof so up we go. So I've obviously put a service hatch in. There we go. So here we are. That is a hundred levels of pumpkins and melon. Wow. So it should be a roughly a bait fifty uh, melons and pumpkins. So fifty melon, fifty layers of melons and pumpkins. There is. Four of each on each one, so there's 200 melons and 200 pumpkins. Now, yeah, that is a lot. But what can I say? I like my melons, as you can see. I eat my melons. It's very good food. Lots of water. And then, oh yeah, 50 levels of cactus. No need any more than that. It's going to be more than plenty. And then we're going to have a hundred levels of sugar cane. But this is the reason why this bit isn't finished. As you can see, I need slime blocks. And I only had a few slime blocks, and now I need to get a lot more. Because there's eight slime blocks a level. But what we'll do is we'll head on up to the ceiling, so you can see it. Is that a missing pane of glass there? No? Hmm. I want to come up here and have a look make sure there's no missing glass because that does look missing. Yeah, there. Oh. All that work. It's crazy. Quite fun when I built this growing up in columns of 250 a time. Or well, from 88 it was actually when I came out of the ground. So this is the top at level 250. Wow. 
Now, <laughs> this uh, little setup is completely irrelevant. Absolutely irrelevant. Why is it irrelevant? All it <laughs> decided to do, so we got a light sensor. So when it gets dark, this block pushes back over to here. Then uh, a few seconds later, then a repeater will send a signal into these blocks, which will start this repeater clock, which will then start pulsing these lights. As I said, totally useless this, but I just wanted um, any aircraft in the area to know this tower is here. Admittedly, this uh, tower is not high in real life, if you think about it. 250 levels, 250 meters high. Eh, there's a lot more bigger buildings than this in the world. A lot more. Right, let's go. And this is the fun bit. So let's go and have a look down below. Here we go. And it's quite nice, uh, see? Dropping 250 levels within an instant. <laughs> Normally, <laughs> that would kill you. Because uh, it's like if you jump from 25 meters above water, the water will then feel like uh, concrete, because obviously water doesn't compress. There we go. So that's what's in the chest. But it's already been filling up quite quickly. So let's uh, have some more melon. There we go. Pumpkins. Pumpkins I've been using for lanterns, cactus, even the sugar cane is not doing too badly. And then in here. Uh, why is this taking so long? Oh yes, I forgot to put my boots back on. There we go. Lovely. There we go. Simple, as you remember, simple clock. Runs through the bedrock itself. And then obviously it goes all the way up there. Now, that is crazy. When I was doing this, it was like up a stage, up a stage, up a stage, making sure I had all the resources to do this bit because this is the most difficult bit because obviously there's so many holes. Admittedly, I could seal the holes in, but yeah, jumping around. And yes, I did die. Okay, I died a few times. Close the door. And we'll just aren't head on up here. As you can see, there's quite a few pumpkins and melons ready to go. So that is basically what I've done. Uh, a lot of work went into it. I hope you like it. Now, as I said, I need slimes to finish off the top layers. So I did a little bit of digging to see if I can locate myself a slime chunk. Which, yeah, I did quite a lot of digging. So each of these squares is a chunk, and obviously the border around it is just a slot. Any slimes if they spawn from jumping into another chunk. Now, as you can see, it took me ages. Went and did a strip, did another strip, did another strip, <laughs> and eventually I have had some slimes. There's three chunks in here that's had slimes on. So this one here. This one here. And this one here. Now, normally I'd say we would stick with the dual slime chunks and do something around that. But seeing as we got this one here, I really want to incorporate that into the farm as well. Because uh, obviously on here, spawn rates, seeing as there's a, usually a lot of people on here, spawn rates are a little down because it spreads it out amongst everyone else. So, what we're going to do is we're incorporate that as well. Luckily for me, this is actually under sea, so there shouldn't be any mobs spawning. The only thing is, possibly level 40 is actually in the ocean, so that might be quite intriguing. So what I'm going to do now, because obviously you probably don't want to see this, is I'm going to bring a beacon over from the temple, put it down, and then dig out this, these three chunks. Now yeah, that is a lot of work. An absolute lot of work. <laughs> So what I'll do is, uh, we'll do a jump cut here, you do not want to see that. I don't know who would enjoy watching me dig out a very large hole in the ground. So I'll see you all in a minute. So I am currently in the middle of the trenches. Yes. So as you can see, <laughs> I've dug all the way down. And now I'm at the level. Um, this, these two slime chunks are on the world's biggest lava lake. And I mean, this lake actually puts the never to shame. 
So now I'm going round, filling it in as I go. Oh, man. So look at it. And it's not like a, a few levels deep. We are talking like six deep in some areas. It is crazy. Absolutely. But it's going to be well worth it. I've had slimes coming down. <laughs> You're probably wondering why I haven't took, uh, dug out the chunk as a whole just yet. Well, the main reason is I don't particularly want the big chunks, uh, the big slimes coming in and attacking me straight off the bat. They will at some point. So after I've done all this, then I'll start considering doing that. And I think I have to re redo the ceiling because uh, the slime spawn are on level 40 and that's the last level. Uh, but level 40 here is actually underwater so I might build like a glass canopy over the top of it. But in the meantime, I'm going to carry on slowly <laughs> filling in this lava lake. And I mean it all goes around here. At first I thought, ah, oh, it's not going to be too much. I'll just chuck some water on, chuck some water on, dug a little bit out, and it just continued. It is huge. Absolutely. I'm sure it's still under here as well. So when I dig this chunk out, oh. So I'm going to continue, and I'll come back to you once I've dug the trench out. So I'll see you in a minute. Be right back. Well, I just downloaded the new snapshots. Ah, oh, loves and hugs. <laughs> oh, love you. Oh, hello, Mr. Squid. Hello, Mr. Squid. <laughs> oh, you gotta love April Fool's Day. Look at this. Look. Look at the work they put into this. Oh, you gotta love those guys. Look, got poppies everywhere. Oh, yeah. Uh, everyone's been doing it today. <sighs> April Fool's Day. I should have done something, I suppose. I keep forgetting about April Fool's Day, and then when I see these things, I think, hmm, obviously this is an April Fool's Day. Let's see, anything in this to... <laughs> shader. Minecraft shaders. Post love. <laughs> oh, man, it's so funny. Oh, well. We better get back to it, I suppose. Anything else? I'm going to play this for a minute and then see if there's anything else and then bring you back and then we'll go back to the real world. <laughs> so funny. You're probably wondering what I'm about to do here. I got my scuba helmet on, which is going to allow me to breathe underwater. Now you see where that beam comes out from? Now it's basically where the beacon is. So what I'm going to do in a minute is the two chunks that come out to the side rays. I'm going to remove the gravel at some point, but I'm going to replace the whole roof of that area with blue glass and some diorite, of course. So the diorite will then uh, form similar to that, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'll get on with that. I know it's going to be another jump cut, but I don't think you really want to see me do this underwater. I'll do very dark down here. Ooh. See, so that is where the beacon is, just down below. Change this to a glass ceiling, and then I'll bring it right back. Wow, I just looked at the time how much I've done recording-wise, and I've recorded quite a lot, so I'm going to have to call it quits here today. Uh, and then I'll start the episode second, well, the next episode straight away. Now, as you can see, there's the skylight, and then this is the chunks dug out. It's amazing how much work goes into doing this. A lot of time just listening to music. I'm glad I moved the beacon down. Now, what I'm going to do, most people would have uh, started doing the spawning pads, uh, but I'm not. I'm not going to do the spawning pads first, I'm going to do the killing bit first and the water streams. So as I'm building the actual spawning pads, they're not going to be falling on my head whilst I work on the water stream because the water stream will already be done. So I'll work my way from the top down, keeping me nice and safe as I work because I've already been attacked and I've now lost my boots and some of my other armor. They take a lot out of it. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to actually dig a ring around the bottom like so and then have water push them 
into cactuses on this side and then I can actually have a spawning pad at this height here maximizing the amount of spawning I can do ah oh. and then once that's all done I gotta figure out the prime location above because I was obviously gonna put a little dome and have a little elevator going up to it for the items where I can stand and get all the drops and so I suppose that is actually it so oh look at the back of my head yeah we're, we're finished like this so thank you very much for watching everybody <laughs> you've all been great as usual and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode good night oh let's see there's my bottom ah, good night <laughs>